Hello YouTube, this is The College Entrepreneur. My name is Derek and today I'm bringing you a video that is something that I've wanted to touch on for a while. Um, we're going to talk about eBay um, and specifically the issue of seller fees being raised higher than ever. Are there still profits to be made? Now, I've read a lot of blog posts, seen some videos, um, and sellers are just complaining there's a lot of people getting out of eBay what I want to tell you is you can still make profits on eBay um, and I don't think I mean obviously there's always gonna be people that are telling you you can't do this you can't do that now the profits aren't gonna be as big as before because of seller fees but there's still a way to make money especially for those of you who or like me, don't want a real job um, and want time to do other things. Focus for me, example, um, I study languages on the side and I'm getting ready for a trip to Macedonia. I will be in Macedonia for the month of July. Um, so I'm preparing for that trip. The same time, all my funds are coming from eBay profits. Now, that's a lot of funds. Um, so yeah, I just want to share with you a little bit of my story. So for those, first I'm going to touch on kind of a beginner aspect of eBay. And then I'm going to reach out more toward the intermediate sellers. Um, and then kind of close up with my, um, you know, power seller experience or whatever you call it. But basically I come on YouTube and there's all these people, oh, power seller, top rated seller, I'm a titanium seller, and I'm going to give you secrets, yada, yada, yada. And it's all rubbish. It's, I mean, it's all marketing. I don't know. It just doesn't feel real to me. So I just want to connect with you guys, kind of share with you my experience on eBay. So flashback about four years. Um, I was 15 years old, a sophomore in high school. I'm currently 20, just so you know, five years ago. Um, and anyway, so I didn't really, I didn't have a job. Uh, but I didn't really want to get a job. <laughs> um, I've always been kind of entrepreneurial minded, I guess. So I was kind of like, there's got to be a way I can make money. I don't have to get a job like all my friends. So I decided to see what I could do with eBay. Now, the first thing that I did um, is I went through my closets. Now, I had been gifted some very nice clothes. Not very nice, but designer clothes um that didn't fit me anymore um and they're just you know sitting in my closet I'm like I need to get rid of these so I go on eBay um first step look up what item was and see how much it was worth um but I will tell you my my first instinct was to just get rid of these clothes. So I wasn't really necessarily concerned about how much these items went for, just getting rid of them. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest starting there. But anyways, here's what I did. So I cleared out my complete closet that didn't fit anymore. You know, I had, you know, designer jeans, like True Religion jeans, um, MEK jeans, um, some sevens, um, you know, I had some shirts like this, Ralph Lauren polo shirts, um, I had a, a lot of Abercrombie and Fitch and Hollister clothing, and I just threw this stuff up there, I took really nice pictures, I researched, um, other top sellers, and I looked at their listings, and I kind of just mimicked the, my, mimicked their listing, but kind of put my own personal feel to it, because I wanted, you know, to be different, um, so I kind of took what what I saw was successful for them, put my spin on it, and then just did it. And I was extremely surprised because, you know, there were some items that I was like, oh, this will sell at a really high, you know, but whatever, I don't really care. I just want to get rid of it. And, you know, I, I may have gotten, you know, a couple bucks, but I wasn't, wasn't getting the profit I was expecting. But then there was a couple items that I sold that was just like, I put it up there and I was like, oh, this would probably go for like 10 bucks. It was a pair of, um, what were they, Hollister jeans. 
like, oh, these will probably go for five, ten bucks. Put it up there, these things sold for like 15, 20 bucks. And I'm sitting, I'm like, I'm thinking, that's a that's pretty good for cleaning out my closet. So I think in the end I made around 250 bucks just cleaning out my closet, getting rid of clothes that were just sitting around there. So that's my first step of advice to you beginners. Clean out your closet, go into your garage, look around and and find stuff that you I mean that, that you don't necessarily want anymore, you know, like maybe it's your goodwill pile whatnot. Now, the tough part here is a lot of the if if it's not a like a name brand piece of clothing or if it's not, you know, um, highly desirable on eBay, you might not get any bids for it, which is not necessarily a bad thing as long as you get some bids because we're just trying to get the ball rolling, especially if you're a beginner. Get those first couple auctions sold, listed, and I would suggest just doing a 99 cent auction with something that you don't really care if it, if it sells just as long as you get rid of it um, and, and to make sure it sells kind of start understanding how the whole thing works interacting with buyers shipping items um, and and really just kind of get the feel for it now my second step this is what I did is I was like you know I had some Hollister shirts some Abercrombie and Fitch shirts and some Ralph Lauren polo shirts that sold for some good money where could I get shirts like those so I started doing research. I started looking at other top-rated sellers on eBay, seeing what they were selling, um, and trying to understand how they were making profit. And here's one mindset that I want you to think about. If other people are doing it, why can't I? If there are other people making a significant income on eBay, why can't I? That's awesome that they're doing it. I can do that too. Don't don't get into this mindset of, oh, they're doing that because they started a long time ago and they've been doing this forever and they have all this information that I don't have. Well, I just want to give up. No, go for it. Do it. Sell your crap out of your closet and then find your niche. Find your niche, find an item that styles well for you and replicate them because if they're making money, you can too, I promise you. Now it's going to take work, it's going to take research, it's going to take practice, but you can do it, I promise you. I've, I've done it and four years ago people told, I was reading all over the internet that eBay's upped its seller fees and there's no more profits for small business owners and stay at home moms and kids without jobs. All the money is going to these big eBay power giants. Well, that was four or five years ago, and I'm still doing it. I'm telling you, you can do it. Just make up in your mind that, you know, you're going to find the information that you need to find to make it happen. So that was my second step is find your niche. Um, and then my third step, I would say get inspiration from other sellers. Um, you can Google... I forget what if they have it anymore. It used to be eBay Pulse, um, but you can, you know, if you browse on eBay, you can find what the top, um, the top keyword items are in each genre. I guess, in each, like if it's clothing, it'll show you the top top ten search items. You can Google that. I'm gonna add a link in the bottom of this video for that too as well. Um, but that was my biggest. Um, I guess my biggest uh, piece of advice, well, something I found out that I can give to you when I was building, 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 um, was I was looking at other sellers and I was finding out what they were doing and then saying, oh, if they're doing this, then maybe I could tweak that a little bit and I can do this. Um, and so, you know, it's really not as complicated as people make it. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I learned <laughs> I mean, it's a learning process that I'm very happy to share with you, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but that's all I have for now. This video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to sign off now. Um, but anyways, I really want to help you guys out. Um, I've, I haven't really seen many eBay videos on here in a while. Um, I know I made one a while ago um, on an account, and I was just actually looking up my YouTube 
and I typed in eBay power seller and I'm like scrolling down and there's like the third video down I'm like that's my face I, and honestly I made that video like so long ago and I just like come back and I'm looking there and I'm like oh my gosh I have like 4,000 something views completely lost the information to that account completely lost the password I'm actually trying to figure it out I'm gonna try to see if I can't contact e or, uh, YouTube or something but Anyways, this is a follow-up video to that video that I posted like 11 months ago. Anyways, um, if you guys like this video, please leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe. I'm going to be coming back with a lot more videos, I promise this time. Anyways, um, love to hear you guys' comments and feedback. Um, for now, goodbye.